in this video, you will learn 11 plus maths topic, multiplying fractions. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Before we start this example, if you guys want to know more about fractions, I've got a playlist on fractions, so go check that out. In this example, we're going to see how to multiply a fraction by another fraction. So in this case, we have 5 over 8, which is a fraction. We're going to multiply 5 over 8 by 3 over 5, which is another fraction. So when timesing two fractions, you're going to first multiply the numerators. The numerators are the number at the top. So the number we have at the top are 5 and 3. So 5 times 3 is going to give you 15. So that's step one, and we can now move on to step two. So step two is to multiply the denominators. The denominators are the numbers at the bottom. So in our case, we have eight, and we also have five. So eight times five is going to give you 40. So now, we know that five over eight times three over five gives you 15 over 40. The final step is to simplify if you can. So in 15 over 40, we know that both 15 and 40 are both multiples of 5. So therefore, we can still simplify. So this means all we have to do is we're going to divide 15 by 5 and divide 40 by 5. So 15 divided by 5 is going to give you 3 and 40 divided by 5 is going to give you 8. So the fraction for this example is 3 over 8. If you guys want to know more on fractions, I've got a link in the description below and in the comments section below. So go check that out. Now let's have a look at this example. And in this example, we're going to see how to multiply a fraction by a whole. So in this case, we have four over six, which is fraction. And we're going to times this by seven, which is a whole number. So the step one is going to be to convert the whole number, which is seven in this case, into a fraction. But before we do that, let's rewrite the question. So let's write the 4, and then we can write the 6, and then we can write the time symbol. Now, to write 7 as a fraction, all you have to do is, you're going to write the whole number as the numerator, the whole number is 7, so we're going to write 7 as the numerator, and then for the denominator, you're just going to write a 1. So this is the same for any other number, so all you're going to do is, you're going to write the number at the top, and then just write 1 in the denominator place. The next thing we do is just like we did in the previous example. So we're going to start off by multiplying the numerators, which are 4 and 7. So 4 times 7 will give you 28. Next, we're going to multiply the denominator 6 and 1. 6 times 1 will give you 6. Right now, we have 28 over 6. We know that both 28 and 6 are multiples of 2. So therefore, we're going to simplify and we're going to divide by 2. 28 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2. We know that 28 divided by 2 will give you 14. And we know that 6 divided by 2 will give you 3. So right now, we have 14 over 3. If needed, and if you want to, convert 14 over 3 into a mixer number, so you're going to get 4, which is going to be the whole number, and then you will get 2 at the top, and finally you will get 3 at the bottom. So you will get 4, 2 over 3. If you guys are wondering how I did that, well, I've got a video on how to convert improper fractions into mixer numbers. So go check that out. Now let's have a look at this example, and let's see how to multiply mixer numbers. So the example we have is 1, 1 over 5 times 1, 6 over 7. First thing we're going to do, we're going to convert both of these numbers into improper fraction. So 1, 1 over 5 as an improper fraction is going to be 6 over 5. And then 1, 6 over 7 as an improper fraction will be 13 over 7. Step 2 is to multiply both of these numbers, so 6 over 5 times 13 over 7. With that step 2, 
multiplying both of these fractions. And then the final step is to work it out. So 6 times 13 is obviously going to give you 78. So we can write that down. And then 7 times 5 will give you 35. So we have 78 over 35. And the final step is to convert 78 over 35 into a mixed number. And when converting 78 over 35 into a mixed number, you will get 2 as the whole number, and then 8 as the numerator, and finally 35 as the denominator. So we get 2, 8 over 35 as our answer. Now to learn more on 11 plus maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.